Hello and welcome to Andy Lights Cars. Today we're going to be doing something different in that we will be looking at audio equipment, namely the Bose Acoustic Wave Music System 2, and find out why it's so innovative and what sets this apart from every other stereo system on the market. Bose Wave stereo systems were legitimately innovative when they launched in the 80s, as was Bose itself. This all begins with Dr. Amar Bose, a Bengali American whose father was an Indian freedom fighter, who came to his success through his curious mind. But there was a problem he felt needed to be solved. As a Massachusetts Institute of Technology doctoral student in the late 1950s, he grew frustrated with the poor audio quality of the high-end stereo systems he brought himself as a reward. He said, I studied the literature and brought the best system based on the specifications, but when I brought it home and plugged it in, it sounded terrible. I was disappointed and confused. Why did so much of what I had been taught say it should be so good when my ears said it wasn't? That led Bose, who became an MIT professor of engineering, to dive into audio research on how to maximise the sound that could come out of a pair of speakers. Eventually, his research led him to make speakers that worked much the same way as actual music being played at a concert hall did, with the sound waves being reverberated off the walls. This thought process led to the 901 speakers, the device that helped drive the company's long-term success and which are still sold today. That success allowed Dr. Bose, who remained an MIT professor in the midst of his company's success, to further experiment on all sorts of different projects at Bose, including, most famously, noise-cancelling headphones and, most ambitiously, a car suspension system built for smooth rides. This research and academic approach is what sets Bose apart. They are anything but the traditional hi-fi company. The company is privately held, giving it the ability to spend much of its time and profits working on major research projects one of those projects became the basis for the Wave line of speakers, designed by Dr. Bose with the help of Dr. William Short, a fellow former MIT student. The eureka moment was when Short had built a primitive form of the company's waveguide technology, an enclosed serpentine-like plastic chamber that's designed to help amplify a sound wave and bring out some of its best qualities. He showed Dr. Bose what he had on Christmas Eve. And Dr. Bose immediately realised he had a very memorable gift sitting in his office. He said, After Bill demonstrated the very first crude model to me on Christmas Eve in 1981, I ran around the plant grabbing anyone who hadn't left for the holidays. I wanted everyone to hear the incredible sound coming from this new kind of enclosure. That waveguide technology became the basis of the acoustic wave music system, released in 1984, and the smaller Wave AM FM radio released in 1993, and dozens of other varieties since. In one of its user manuals, Bose claimed it took 14 years to research and develop the Wave audio system. This work on the Waveguide technology earned Dr. Bose and Dr. Short numerous awards. So, how does it work? Well, the basic principle is that when a speaker vibrates, the vibrations are transformed into audible sound waves. However, with conventional systems, the rear of the speakers are shut off or covered up, so only the vibrations generated at the front of the speaker become audible. The Bose Waveguide system intelligently channelizes the rear vibrations of the ear from the speakers so that these vibrations are also effectively transformed into audible sound. The intricately calculated structure further enhances this output, producing out sounding sound output with minimal space utilization. With a larger acoustic wave music system too, there is also a bass driver, and that same wave technology allows for rich deep bass from a small device. So there have been a few versions of the acoustic wave over the years. The first acoustic wave music system came out in 1984 and was sold till 1992. This was called the AW1. This one had a tape player and a radio. The next iteration was the acoustic wave music system model CD2000 and this was launched in 1993. 
the company had finally produced its first acoustic audio system with a CD player built in. This was considered as one of the biggest achievements for the manufacturer because of one major reason. CD players, as we all know, tend to become sloppy and respond poorly to vibrations. For the best possible results, the CD mechanism was placed at the center with a Bose waveguide structure coiling past it. The design ensured maximum efficiency for the audio output, keeping your CD mechanism well isolated from any residual vibration imposed by the waveguard. The basic design improved over a couple more iterations, with the last being introduced in 2006 and was sold up until 2018. The one that we're going to be looking at today is mine, and it's the later Acoustic Wave Music System 2. So history that's been over, let's take a look around the device. So up front, it's a very minimalist device. It looks more like an air purifier or a fancy heater rather than a traditional hi-fi. And that's great for those people who don't want something obtrusive in their living room. The outputs for the speakers are here and here, and these are the base ports here and here. Overall, this feels like a heavy and solid piece of equipment. It doesn't feel cheap despite the fact that this is clad in plastic, but it feels like expensive plastic, so that's pretty nice. Now, all the buttons for the Acoustic Wave Music System 2 are on the top. They're pretty basic. Here's the on-off button there. You've got FM, AM, CD and auxiliary there. Radio presets there. You've got your volume controls there. Track seek here. And tuner or uh, selecting the next MP3 track are there because this, of course, can play CDs with MP3s on them. You've got play, pause, stop, play mode and menu. Uh, to load a CD, you simply click here, put the disc in, shut it, and it'll start reading and playing the disc immediately. Okay, we'll pause that just so we don't get any copyright uh, infringements. One, I guess, drawback of having all the controls on the top is that the display is on the top, so you can only see the display if you walk over to the unit and look down upon it. You cannot see it sitting at the other side of the room. When you turn it on, one nice thing is that the volume fades in, which is nice. So it has seek, which allows you to seek to the next track, of course. Now, let's say that you find a station that you really like and you want to save it, all you do is click here, and it will save the radio preset. Here is also an AM radio, and its performance is okay. It doesn't sound too bad. So if you find yourself listening to a talkback radio station like News Talk ZB, you can click this button here which turns the talk radio function on. The stereo has a number of functions, and those are accessed by clicking and holding the menu button here. Your setup options are RDS information, so that's a radio station information, you can either have that on or off, you can have the headphones as line output or headphones, and then you have continuous play. What continuous play is, is that when a CD finishes, it will automatically switch over at the end of that CD to continue playing FM or AM or what's on the auxiliary input. You also have a room selector. This, of course, is because Bose has the ability to uh, connect multiple rooms, so you can uh, have up to quite a few Bose devices selected in a house. You also have a reset option. Okay, so around the sides there are these convenient carrying handles here. Down below you have a figure of eight power input and the option to power it from a DC or a cigarette car charger from 12 to 15 volts. Here you have the Bose link so that you can connect it to other Bose systems. You have uh, auxiliary input, headphone output, and an FM antenna input. It comes with a remote and it's a small one here. It's pretty rudimentary though and takes a button cell type battery. It's missing a couple of tricks though because it's only infrared. Now that might not sound like a big deal but Bose for their bigger lifestyle music systems offer remotes like this which are 
controlled with radio. So you can be anywhere in your house and turn up your volume, turn down the volume. You don't necessarily have to be in the same room pointing the remote at the device. So that's missing a bit of a trick there. One accessory I do still have for the Bose Acoustic Wave Music System 2 is this carrying case. Now it's not the easiest thing to uh, put in. You've got to kind of wrangle it in a little bit and it's a little bit awkward but uh, once you get it in this allows you to carry your bows uh, from house to house and more importantly around the back I believe it allows you to put a rechargeable battery pack and the rechargeable battery pack would fit in here. Now if you open it up you can see that uh, it has, I guess, space for maybe a regular MP3 player and maybe another MP3 player and over here an iPod and here you can put some CDs. Overall it's a nice solid case. It's now time to take a listen and see what the Bose Acoustic Wave Music System 2 sounds like. I'm going to place my lapel microphone in front of this but please realize that this is a mono microphone recording a stereo output going over YouTube and being encoded. So I'm not sure how representative this is of the overall sound quality, but let's give it a go anyway. And then I'll give you my thoughts on what I think it sounds like afterwards. I'm not sure how well that came across on camera, but to me it sounded good for some music and not so good for others. Uh, the acoustics are very clear, so things like voice and delicate instruments come through and sound really great, but anything heavy or fast sounds a little bit muffled and sometimes distorted. And that's the thing about the Bose Acoustic Wave music system too. If you listen to a lot of jazz and nice music like that, then it will probably be okay for you. But if you listen to a lot of rock music, maybe go look somewhere else. Um, I think this stereo really suits someone who isn't an audiophile, who is looking for a nice stereo and has the money to spend on something that will look nice and sit in the corner. If you are going to use this as your main stereo and you are going to sit in front of it and um, critically listen to it, then it may not be for you because it's not, at, I think, an audiophile level. It's a good stereo. It's actually a really good stereo, but it's not a great stereo. And that's, I think, the key difference here. And it is expensive. I haven't taught price, but I have seen this listed for $2,200 here in New Zealand when it was on sale. And that's a huge chunk of change for something like this. And I think for $2,200, you could probably spend your money better elsewhere. Now, here's the truth. I didn't pay anywhere near that money. I actually bought this from an auction probably eight years ago for I think the grand sum total of $360. And at the time it came with a CD changer, which I have now since gotten rid of because it broke. And it also came with that carrying case. So that would have been about three grand's worth of value back then 
for about 360 bucks. And for $360, I don't think it's been a bad stereo. It was the first Bose I ever bought, and I've been pretty happy with it since, and I haven't sold it. Um, I think it's really good for a stereo for something like maybe a second living room, or, a, um, or maybe in your kitchen, or in the dining room. Uh, but I wouldn't use this as my main stereo. I actually currently have a Bose Lifestyle Music System 2 as my main stereo. If the Bose Acoustic Wave Music System 2 sounds like the stereo for you, then you can get this one here for around about $900 here in New Zealand. Or if you're an international viewer, they top out at around $900 New Zealand dollars and go down from there. And it's worth shopping about because... There are ones for much cheaper than that. But around about $500 seems to be the reasonable price. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it with your friends, or subscribe to see more content, which I hope to be bringing along soon.